Hey guys, what is going on? This is Chris Screw, and today I'm gonna teach you how to avoid getting banned on PlayStation Network. So, getting banned is a possibility when you're uh, running a custom firmware, and I'm gonna give you some tips and things you have to try and avoid as much as possible, and then you are actually able to last along with your console ID, well, I should not say console ID, just with your console, that you won't get banned as quickly as possible. So as you can see right now, when you go to all of these people, you see this person is playing Skyrim, this one's playing MW2, and this one, for instance, is playing Skilling It Up on FIFA 14. Now, the problem is when you're doing this stuff is that I can see it and so is Sony. And this is one of the things we're actually going to talk about. Not that how he does it, basically how he does it is just um, changing the param SFO Actually, the game, the name of the game, I should say, and then it shows up. So basically, as you can see, we can all see these kind of people playing these games. And what does it mean, people playing these games? When we can see it, Sony can see it as well. And whenever we're running a homebrew app, for instance, I'm running now. I have, I want to run a uh, Reebok Toolbox because I get quickly FTP access. Well, people in my friends will be able to see it as I will be signing. And now, if people see that, Sony sees it, and. The best, of, the best thing I should say to avoid this is always to sign off. And once you sign off, you just open your homebrew. So if I needed to be in a uh, Reebok Toolbox, I just opened Reebok, Reebok Toolbox just to, excuse me, show you that. And then just that Sony does not see what is happening. And sorry for the black screen. However, it's go gone now. Sorry, I'm getting hit, but hic hic bleh, hiccups, hiccups, whatever. So as you can see, I'm now in PS. Um, I'm now in Reebok Toolbox, and Sony cannot see it, and neither can someone from my friends list. So this is one of the best things always to do. Instead of signing in, um, being signed in, running to um, homebrew apps, always sign up. This is the best thing you can do, and Sony will never um, know that you run a homebrew app on your plate and jailbreak uh, on your jailbroken PS3. Now another thing is what is really helpful, and this is this this package file PS Ninja. Now whenever you run an um, F I mean, a homebrew package file on your PS3 and you were signed in, the best thing is to just quickly sign out of your PS3. And once you sign out, I should say, just if you have wired connection, unplug the connection really quickly. And when you're on wireless, just unplug your PS3's power connection so you're not signed in. And then once you've done that, or you just stay signed in, you just close your homebrew and sign off. It doesn't really matter, but just do. Avoid as much as possible, just try and get signed up as quickly as possible. And then you open up re um, PS Ninja, you click on the first one, uh, cross on the second one, and on the third one. And once you've done these, and this is by the way the uh, most important things, you can also do clear web browser if you want to do that. It doesn't really make, um, doesn't really matter at all. Or when you know that. When you're done that, you just click on exit, and everything should be good to go. Alright, well, guys, this was the video tutorial. I tried to keep this as short as possible. Be sure to check out my different videos, and I'm as well going to upload in the coming days more of these kind of tiny tutorial videos how to avoid getting banned and all that stuff around homebrew things and about jailbreak. Anyways, guys, this was Chris Screw. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video.